Greetings from Union University. It's Wednesday, April 1st, and I was thinking uh, last night as I was meeting with a group of students via Zoom, uh, just how, how thankful I am for our students and uh, just how incredible they are. Uh, they've adapted to this this new reality of, of online learning so well and so thoughtfully. Of course, we all miss being together, but uh, we're making the best of the current situation that we're in. And with the, the 30 days uh, now of stay safe at home and uh, social distancing, we've made the difficult decision to, to say that we're not going to come together again for the rest of the semester. And, and even more that we're not going to be able to have commencement on the Great Lawn as all of us hoped and um, prayed that it would be on May 16th. So those are difficult decisions, and they're difficult because they, they mean a sense of loss um, in some way. Of course, so many in our country are grieving, uh, grieving the, the death of loved ones, and um, our heart goes out to them, and we certainly pray for, for them. But it's also a reminder that for all of us, there's some sense of loss during this time and, and some sense of grief of things that, that we'd hoped for and looked forward to that, that are just not going to happen. But the reality is all of us are dealing with some sort of loss uh, during these days. And as we're doing that, we need to be reminded that, that even these temporary troubles are, are, are not in any way diminishing the promises of God. I'm reminded in Joshua chapter 23, Joshua gathers the, the, the leaders of Israel around him. It's at the end of his life, he's thinking back on his life and all that God has done. And of course, there were trials and tribulations. There was 40 years wandering in the desert. And in that time, he gathers them and he, he reminds them that the Lord fights for you and, and that the Lord's promises are true and that, that, that they should love the Lord their God. And then in verse 14, he says this, And you know in your hearts and souls, all of you, that not one word has failed. Of all the good things that the Lord your God promised concerning you, all have come to pass for you. Not one of them has failed. God's promises are true. And we'll have a, a graduation ceremony where students get a chance to, to put on that cap and gown and walk across the stage and receive the diploma that they've worked so hard for. It might be in June, it might be in July, it might be in August. We'll figure that out. But, but even in these temporary trials and in, in this temporary loss that we have of things that we hold dear, let's hold true, let's hold fast to the promises of God. Romans 8.28 picks this up, of course. And we know that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to His purposes. His promises are true. Great is His faithfulness. Let's cling to those promises during these challenging times.